Here's my Shock Mod Ninja Sword prototype. I bought these two Ninja Swords on Amazon. You can also find them on eBay and a lot of other sites that sell swords and knives. But if you just Google Ninja Swords, these should come up. The reason I bought these specifically is because they have these little grooves cut out already and I was able to attach these nylon bolts and I also bought some spacers, washers and nuts here and because they're non-conductive it allows these teeth here to act as the probes like on a taser or stun gun is the proper name so here it is the stun gun it's 8.8 .8 million volts pretty harmful um, don't play with this not a toy you can find them on eBay as well this is the VTS 989-1 8800 kilovolts so that's 8.8 .8 million volts so what I'm planning on doing in the future I have this here arm guard or wrist brace and also this glove here what I'm going to try and do, you can see these ventilation holes, I'm going to try to um, wire the contact points so the positive would be the thumb and each finger would be a negative so that you could grasp the sword with your thumb here and then your index fingers here and that would create the spark so that it could travel up the sword and if someone were to disarm you then the sword would just be normal and if someone would grab the sword they would get shocked and let's say somebody tries to attack you you can grab it and then because you have the ability to electrocute to have that you have the taser basically built into your arm your glove whoever is holding the handle because I'm gonna put some metal strips here is going to get shocked so there's like a fail safe in case you get disarmed and if your enemy tries to use your own sword against you. So basically you have like a conductive rod. You have both sides which you can either electrocute it from here and then it would come to this point where if you were holding the the handles then you would get shocked or if you have the taser built into your glove then it would shoot up this way. So it makes sense. So I'll just show you real quick how I'm going to do this. And I have a taser here. Nice thing about this one, you have a really wide distance, so you can pretty much not have to worry about these two zapping before it goes into the actual blade. So I'll show you from this angle. So, pretty cool idea. I also added just some uh, wooden as a better grip because I didn't want to get shocked and whenever you have all of the washers you have these spacers here that creates a perfectly parallel plane so that's why you get these sort of random arcing across these teeth here otherwise if I had maybe the tip closed down to this point it would just travel to the very tip but because I have the washers all spread out equally that's why you get that random disbursement of the shock which has a pretty cool effect so if you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.